Hey everyone, Wes here. A couple days ago on Twitter, this thing called Takana popped up. Everyone was really, really excited about it. It claims to do live SaaS editing. Now, if you've ever done this in the past, maybe it was something like Live Reload or Grunt or Gulp Watch plugin, you'll know that it's not live, it's not instant. It's pretty quick in that uh, you edit your SaaS and you give it a save, it regenerates, and then finally it'll update your browser, right? Uh, the problem is that while the demo works great, once you hit really, really large SaaS files, maybe you have a really big project, the regeneration of your SaaS can take anywhere from a couple seconds up to sometimes I've seen 10 seconds, depending on the size of your code base and the speed of your machine. Now, I was a little bit skeptical of this, so I decided to give it a shot. Turns out it is fantastic and it's awesome, so I definitely recommend you give it a shot. The reason why it's so fast is it's built on something called libsass. Now, SAS is generally built on Ruby. However, that starts to slow down with large projects. So uh, a couple of guys have built this thing called libsass, which uh, is just basically re-implementing SAS in C and C++, and it is fast as heck. So right on top of libsass is what Takana is built on, and I'm just going to show you how to get up and running in just a couple minutes. So first thing you need to do is install the Node Takana project. So if you don't have Node installed, make sure you go to nodejs.org and install it. Probably you already have it. Uh, and we just type npm install Takana, and then we do dash G on the end. That means it's global, and it's going to install it globally on our machine. Sometimes you'll have to pop a sudo in front of there if you get an error while installing. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to go ahead and do that. The second thing is that Takana works only with Sublime Text 2 and 3. No other editor supported at the moment. I would imagine that's coming. Uh, but we need the Takana plugin on Sublime Text. So make sure you have Sublime Text package control. Type install package. Now this is going to bring up a list of packages and just go ahead and type Takana uh, when it pops up. I already have it installed, so I can't reinstall it. Uh, however, you would just type Takana and you would see it somewhere in here. You just click on it. So once you have the package here installed and the package in your Sublime Text installed, you are off and ready to uh, get going with Takana. So I've just got a couple uh, files here. I've got a style.scss and I've got an index.html. Don't worry about the bourbon folder right now, that's totally not required. Uh, I'm just gonna show you how it actually does work uh, with some of the frameworks like bourbon. So, uh, I have HTML right here, pretty straightforward. I've got an H1, I've got a wrapper, and a P tag inside of that. I've got that open. I'm not even running it through a server, I'm just running it straight on my file system right here. Uh, so it's running in Sublime Text, but what we need to do is get the Takana server up and running on uh, in our terminal. So to get that running, I like to just go to the where you're going and just type Takana, and then the path of where your website is located. In this case, dot is good enough because I'm in the folder. Hit enter. It's going to start up, and everything is green here. The one thing we need to do is pair our browser, so you can be using any browser, with your Sublime Text. Now, if you've ever used Live Reload or something like this, you'll know that uh, you either have to use a piece of JavaScript that you pop into your uh, HTML file, or you use a browser plugin. There's no browser plugin just yet, but I imagine that's coming. So I'm just going to pop this in. You'll notice it's pointing to localhost, and that's the Takana server that's kind of uh, watching for changes. It's talking with Sublime Text. So make sure you take that out before you push uh, it live, otherwise you will have some errors. So now when I refresh this, you'll really see nothing uh, different. However, if I go to my style.css and start typing, let's say uh, background uh, black, you'll see as soon as I finish the word black, like I just typed that last K, it's instantly updated. Same if I type color white or font size, 10px. Uh, maybe I'll bump that up, bump it down. Uh, as soon as I type any of these things, it's instantly updated in the browser. There's no waiting for compiling. And now this is really, really nice because what a lot of people do is they edit in dev tools 
then so they can see it live and then they copy paste it back into their CSS file. Um, while that's great, it's even cooler when you can do something like this or uh, maybe you have a max width of 500 px, margin zero auto, border one px, solid red, whoops. Now you say, okay, um, that 500 px isn't that great and I maybe need a little padding. You can just use your Sublime Text Shortcuts to bump it up and down as you want and you can see it live editing right to my left in the browser. Works with any property, really, really fast, uh, instantly updated. Now, my first thing was, well, that's great, but does it work with uh, libraries like Compass or Bourbon? Uh, so I really like to use Bourbon. Um, the one problem or the one snag that we run into right now is that LibSass is right now, uh, it's not updated with the latest version of SAS, which means that uh, some of the latest versions of Bourbon and Compass don't run uh, with it. So if you're using Bourbon and Compass, make sure that you grab a version of your library that runs with SAS version 3.2. Uh, I imagine that would be updated fairly soon though. Uh, so I've got Bourbon installed. Uh, it's just a one, one version older. And I'm just going to import Bourbon, Bourbon good to go. Uh, let's open up this. Uh, now I can just use uh, any of my existing, let's say, let's find the gradient one. So just pop my gradient in there and instantly as I pasted that in, I didn't even hit save yet. You can see my editor still shows it's in the dirty state, but the ed, uh, website has updated right away. So I can just change that to any color that I want, blue, red, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You get the point instantly type, instantly update. So that's it, really easy to get up and running. Definitely recommend you give it a shot and try to work it into your workflow. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this and I think it's going to be uh, a big step forward for people who like to live edit their SaaS.